Hello, everyone. Welcome back to FedViz Exchange. I have James with me today. James is one of my very loyal, loyal participants, businesses. James is a very successful real estate investor, and he's decided that he wants to grow a multi-million dollar government contracting business, and he's on his way. So James, tell me about the journey. You were new to government contracting, never dealt with it before? Yeah, I've always thought it was a good idea, but I never knew how to navigate it. So I've tried a couple of times on my own, but it's so complicated. I just gave up. So the journey started when I just realized I got to I got to do this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to figure it out. So I started watching a bunch of YouTube videos. And as everyone knows, there's a whole bunch of people out there that teach this. But something about Michelle really oh. like her program. And wow. I think I told she seemed to be the most authentic, like genuine person who like wanted to help people instead of just making a bunch of money. So I, I signed up with her. And um, the funny thing is, I should have my son next to me because she started off by helping me and my son together. Yes, he's amazing. I have you mm -hmm. and a few others, which, you know, I'm so proud of that because I believe in generational wealth. And I, I do think that our, um, I guess you would call them millennials, the younger generation, our younger children, they're going to be challenged if we don't help them to focus. It's just different now. You know, they have a lot of things that they're competing with, social media, and not all of it is bad. It's just like, okay, this is stupid. Why are you listening to this? So I'm so fascinated with those of you that have your sons and daughters with you. I just think that's amazing. And he, what, what I did find out that was so amazing to me is that you made him set up his own government business. Yeah, he has his own LLC and his own company and his, he's going after different categories. And so he's his separate deal completely. Wow, he's so smart. He looks like he looks so young. He's a little just a little bit older, but he's so smart. He's very, very quiet, but he, very. you can tell he's absorbing everything when we're doing our sessions. He's just really getting into it. And then apparently he goes back and he does it. And then didn't he get a traceability letter? He got a really long, complicated one, so I had to help him through that. But uh, he's learned a lot from your videos. So he sometimes will approach me and say, hey, did you watch Michelle's video? We talked about that company winning a bunch of cleaning products, and he tells me to go watch it. So <laughs> we put it That's amazing. Well, James, yeah. real quick, because we, of course, we have business to do. So, James, what did you think about the journey other than being complicated once you got into the DLA side? And James, by the way, is already getting prepared for the service side. But what did you think about the product side, DLA? <laughs> What did I think about it or when did I think about it? Yeah, no, what did you think about it? Like as you went through it, because it's the first and the second step, picking a product can be challenging, right? Deciding yeah. which one. How did you end up doing that? What did you decide to do? Well, that was a whole journey in and of itself. So the first thought I had was just pick something that's not competitive, that no one's bidding on. Mm -hmm. So they of like obscure categories, but I found out that a lot of those you can't really bid on because you can't really buy the product or procure the product because mm -hmm. it's big aerospace company for example and there's they're never going to give you the time of day mm -hmm. so i kind of found like a middle ground to where i felt like there was enough open solicitations that meant that there was not a lot of bidding but i was able to buy the stuff either online or i can create like a relationship with a distributor that can that was willing to work with a small company like myself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, and that I, happens I, a lot I, mm -hmm. yeah yeah. It's just trial and error. Yeah. But pretty soon we're you guys are all gonna be manufacturers. Yeah. Like I'm doing. So we're all in this together, step by step. I'm the guinea pig. <laughs> so but James, you manufactured a product before though. Like you had a company make some items for you. So you had some product-based experience, not government, I know, but I think it's going to be easier for you, especially when you start manufacturing. I do, because you understand what it's going to take. And then next week, you guys, we are in our mastermind and our mentorship. We're going into Tech Docs, which is about us starting our manufacturing journey because it takes those Tech Docs. Have you started looking at them yet? The Tech Docs? I've looked at a couple, but I, in the beginning, you kind of told us, hey, just stay away in the beginning. So yeah. 
my mentality is just still avoid them, but yeah. I definitely want to start delving into them because I think there's a lot of opportunity if you figure that out. There is. And Gordon actually has a good point that sometimes you find things that are not that difficult to maybe get someone to make them for you. You know, mm -hmm. like I did in the beginning when I was kind of crazy, I didn't know any better. <laughs> I was having people make stuff for me. But I, I looked at some of them and he's right. Some of them are going to be scary because they look more complicated. But a lot of them, when we peek in there, we might just find that, okay, this is simple. You know, I can have this made or re-engineered, you know, mm -hmm. so. But thank you so much and congr congratulations. Thank You're you. on your way. I told you once that door starts opening. So uh, are you ready? Yeah. So like you said, I won the first one. And then a couple of weeks later, I won another one. And now I got hit with two more traces <laughs> and the floodgates are opening. So <laughs> wow, it's a real congratulations. See, once it starts, I, I know I say that, but it's like it really does start moving fast. But that's because you guys plant a lot of seeds. You're very focused and you get out of it what you put into it. So thank you, James. We yeah, got to nope. get to work now. We'll talk All to right. you guys later. Thank you, James.